welcome back for another video to work today as we're going to be analyzing yet again from, our, from the latest video this little um thing here for THQ Nordic's 10th anniversary in the last video we talked about the spongebob portion but we're not talking about the portion probably nobody's been talking about everybody's been talking about the spongebob portion but if you can see up here by the one you can see what it is that is grave digger and so guys what i'm thinking is happening guys with this announcement THQ Nordic is going to make i'm either thinking this is either going to be a Steel Titans 3, I highly doubt, but what I think it's more going to be is a DLC to Steel Titans 2. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over and covering everything I would like to see in a Steel Titans 2 DLC. First up, we have some of the trucks I would love to see in the DLC. Let's kick it off. I'd love to see Spike, Megabyte, Wrecking Crew, Wrecking Machine, Wildflower, Time Flies, 2018 Bounty Hunter, 2020 Bounty Hunter, the old 2006 to 2008 Bounty Hunter, which was my favorite, Hiccup Truck Monster Energy, Fast Metal, Bad News Travels Fast, Bad Company, Axe, 2020 Exterminator, uh, 2015 to 2019 Exterminator, oh, actually they did use that in 2021. 2017 through 2018 Iron Outlaw. Uh, the two, the 2007 Iron Outlaw. 2008 Iron Outlaw from World Finals 9. Raminator. Ramunition. Raising King. Monster Energy. Black Pearl. Overboard. Steps Overboard. Rogue Camino. Rodozer. Don, um, Scarlet Bandit from. 2019 slash 2020, 2018 Scarlet Bandit, uh, 2007 through 2008 Scarlet Bandit, Devastator, Jailbird, Nitro Menace, Extreme Attitude, Obsessed, Wild Card, Saigon Shaker, Wild Side, Terminal Victory, Wolf's Head, FTI Torque, Rage, Brutus, Scooby Doo, Monster Run Filmation Galaxy, Van Hooked, Pickup Truck Hooked, Jester, the Blue Jester anyway, Kraken, David, David Olford's Jurassic Attack, I believe this is Paul Jensen's Jurassic Attack, Vendetta, Hurricane Force, um, Older Hurricane Force, Purple Hurricane Force, Storm Damage, an another storm damage, overkill evolution, black stallion, the chrome version of overkill evolution, iron warrior, and next up guys, some other stuff. This is some other stuff I would also love to see. I'd also love to see an online multiplayer mode to where you can have at least a free roam of online multiplayer with a maximum of eight from arena for arenas, sixteen for stadiums, and forty for the Las Vegas and Orlando tracks. The reason why I'm saying this is this would be super convenient for STSL and Steel Titans Sports League. Because imagine we're doing an event and it can make it more realistic. You can have a full, like, 16 truck intro or, or whatever, how many trucks there are on the Steel Titans event. You could also get to see, like, if Grave Digger had a crash from skills, you got to see it come back with a damaged body in, free, in freestyle. You get to see the trucks actually parked like inside the stadium and be parked in a parking place if you know what I mean from that. This would be really cool and I think this is not that hard of a feature to add. And they can make it a live show to where it's not all edited, it's an all live show for us to itself. This is an easy thing you can add, add into a game. So I really do hope PHQ Nordic and Rainbow Studios can really add this in. Next thing I'd love to see is vans. I'd love to see crushed vans, buses, motorhomes, and car crushed cars come back. I really want to see these stuff come back, guys, especially in the video, Monster Jam video games, is because, you know, this stuff was iconic and crushing and blowing through stuff in the old three Monster Jam games, being Monster Jam, Jam 2007, Urban Assault, and Path of Destruction. 
especially Path of Destruction, made use of all four of these in their games. So I'd love to see them bring this stuff back and just add some of them along the track. Some tracks do have the cars embedded. None of, the, I mean, the buses are seen in the both the both World Finals tracks, but they aren't seen anywhere else from my memory. So um, please, THQ Nordic, please add these. If we can't have them in real life, we have to have them in a video game. Next thing I'd love to see is Gunslay. Actually, so yeah, guys, while I was making this PowerPoint, I ended up forgetting some of the trucks I wanted to say wanted to be added in. Gunslinger, yes. Gunslinger, not Slinger. Get it, get it right, because I'd love to see that. Especially as in, 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 memory, in memory of Scott Herbstall. They can make this a part of the DLC, but make it like rated R or something like that. I'd love to see War Wizard as well come back. I'd like to see this War Wizard also come back. First off, we're gonna, I want to remove the judging system. The judging system, guys, in the Steel Titans games are not that good. This is the next thing I want to see that um, they want. I want to bring back the old judging stuff from the first three, from the old three games: Monster Mo Seven, Urban Assault, and Path of Destruction. Those games had really good judging, and it was based on a criteria. This one's like fan judging, and it's too easy to get a ten. Ten, and it's all about combos and stuff like that. I didn't. I want to see this get removed and bring back this judging style and remove the kind of like fan judging that was in the game. Next thing I'd love to see is bring back the zoomies. I mean, if it, it can't be too loud for a video game, at least considering it's a video game. If, if the volume is too loud, you turn down the volume or mute the TV if, if you think so. But I'd love to see the zoomies come back. I mean, they do have zoomies on Gravedigger of the Legend in the game. That's a small detail I noticed when um, Mushroom Games posts something on their Twitter. But please, guys, bring back the zoomies for all the trucks. It make it seem really and really cool. And then I'd like to see some better details for the motor engines. Like, for example, if you're to add Gunslinger in the game, I want the engine to look like it's like this and face it backwards. Also, for the sake, please, please make Max D a front engine truck. Max D was not a front engine in hardly any of the Monster Jam games. They didn't do this in both the Steel Titans games, 07 and Urban Assault, but they actually did make Max D a front engine in Path of Destruction. I think they even made it, I think, in Crush It and uh, As Big As It Gets as well, and Battlegrounds. They made Max D the front engine. Please, THQ Nordic, please fix Majesty and put a front engine in. Next thing I'd love to see is the fire and ice trucks come back, such as Bad Company, Avenger, Mohawk Warrior, Dragon, Wildfire, Altor Loco, Grave Digger, Max D, Zombie, Soldier Fortune, Grave Digger, Monster Mart Dalmatian, Megalodon, and Yeti. Next thing I'd love to see is Chuck Warner's Altor Loco be in the game, because that would be cool. I'd also love to see Lucas Oil Crusader be in the game. Also, please bring back guns on Gunslinger, Soldier for and Sold the Soldier Fortune and Soldier Fortune Black Ops. I'm not gonna get too deep into gun violence, like I said in my what I'd like to see for Monster Jam 2022 season. But I'd, I'd love to see this be brought back because I think it looks cool when they when they had that on the truck back in past years. But unfortunately, due to more shootings happening in 2017, they had to remove the guns off the trucks. But who knows? Hopefully, maybe um, we can get that back for this game. Next thing I'd love to see is brought back is non DKTs. I'd love to see them bring back the non DKTs, or at least maybe a game option to where you can swap back and forth between the BKTs and the non DKTs. I like to see that be an option. Is to um, have the option not have you can like you can see you can like have a somehow game mode where you can switch in between them if you want. That would be really cool. I'd also love to see more tracks from like years like 2012, 2014, 2013. I like to see tracks like that come back. Like 2011, maybe 2008. It's bring tracks like that back because those tracks were still pretty cool and added some variety. So I'd love to see see them do that for this.
next thing I'd also love to see is add more venues. As you know, in this game in Steel Titans 2, they added, practically they had kept all the same venues, but made new tracks for the venues. That's practically what they did in Steel Titans 2, and the only new venue they added was Camping World Stadium. Five examples of stadiums I'd like to see come back are NRG Stadium for Houston, uh, I think this is Ever Everbank Field for Jacksonville, the Raymond James Stadium, I'd like to see the Alamo Dome come back for San Antonio, and Foxborough Stadium. That's just some examples. So I try to get in as many venues as they can. Also, I'd love to see other small details come back. Like, I'd love to see a Max D flag be in the game, like Max C, where it has features with the flag. Same thing with Zombie, and maybe even championship details and flags, like what they used to do back in the old days. I'd also love to see Scott Douglas commentate. And I hope we get like um, a budget to like try to get him to voice act in this game. And because he did it for all the older Monster Jam games, like I think he did it in Crush It. He did it in Crush It. He did it in 07 Urban Assault, Half Obstruction, As Big as It Gets, Battlegrounds. That's all I'd love to see Scott Douglas come back and be a commentator for uh, for the game. Because that would be really cool. Next up I'd love to see is the World Finals, bring back all the old World Finals tracks. Like World Finals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Where I do have 19 and 20, but my, OC, but my OCD insisted that, they have to, they, that we have to include all the World Finals in here in here in this image. But yeah, because I mean, this one had more variety. Like, if STSL were to do a World Finals, it'd be cool if we got to see STSL, like, on the this World Finals track, or we'll have to see them do it on this track, or on this track, or on this track, or this one, or, like, you know, it would add variety. It would add variety to add in all the old World Finals tracks. I mean, I don't think it would be that hard. You just have to keep the old Sandboys Stadium and then just add in new stuff would not be that hard. And that would practically be everything I think I would want to see. I think that's all the slides. And so, guys, um, I thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, hit a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can always do it later. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. We'll see you guys next time.